Hey everybody, Mongwe Chris here, and it is the end of another month, so that means it's time for another manga haul. Uh, this time it is the month of January. Um, did, did January feel like it went, took like forever for anybody else? Because for some reason this January felt like it went on for way longer than it should have. Um, I don't know if that's just because I've been busy, but yeah, very, very long January for me. Um, anyway. Uh, sorry for the radio silence, basically, on the, on the channel. I've been, I've been very busy with school and stuff, but, um, I have, I, I will get back into the swing of things, trying to make videos twice a month, sometimes once a month, but, um, yeah, just been really busy. Uh, sorry about that, but, manga haul time. So, I'm gonna start things off with these, the stack of books I have right here, out of frame, that are on my lap. Um, so we have, starting us off, we've got volume seven of Way the House Husband. This was a pre-order. Excited to get into this. This is one of my favorite, this sort of chill comedy series. Um, I did hear that the, the anime is getting season two. I guess technically motion comic, but whatever. I'm excited for that because I actually like, I liked it. But uh, yeah, volume seven of Way the House Husband. Next, we have volumes 22 And 23 of One Punch Man. Uh, I had ordered these uh, around a couple days after Christmas from Barnes and Noble. And uh, it took about three weeks and n n sort of like no news. So I emailed them. They're like, we lost your package. Sorry, we never notified you that your package was lost in the mail. Um, so I, I just order, ordered a replacement and it came within like two days. So these are it's technically the second uh, time I've bought these. But yeah, there we go. These, these also have that, that sort of cool spine thing that you see on on uh, the, the other volumes of One Punch Man. But yeah, 22 and 23 of One Punch Man, it came a little late. <laughs> Next up, we have volume two of Free Ren, Beyond Journey's End. This was also another pre-order. And I didn't even realize Volume 2 was coming out this month. I thought it was coming out next month. But uh, yeah, I read the first volume, really liked it. So I'm looking forward to getting into this one. Another pre-order. We have Mashal, Magic and Muscles, Volume 4. Um, I read Volume 3 not too long ago. But um, I'm looking forward to getting into this one. This one... This particular series is really good. Very, very funny. Uh, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to uh, jumping into this volume. The art still looks really cool. Definitely got that unique art style. But uh, yeah, very, very excited to jump into this one. So continuing, I also have volumes one, two, and three of uh, Nietzsche Joe, My Ordinary Life. Um, I watched the anime for this series and absolutely loved it. Um, and I know there's a box set out, but I just spent a bunch of money. And I didn't want to uh, drop some more money on a box set. Plus I'm running out of room on my shelves, not surprisingly. Um, so I decided to just collect them individually to save a little space. Um, so yeah, one, two, three of Nietzsche Joe, My Ordinary Life. Very, very excited to read these. I flipped through them. It, they, it looks just as funny as the show. So yeah, very, very excited to read these. Now this one, um, not entirely sure, don't remember buying it, but I might must have bought it at some point because it, it's our, obviously showed up. Um, we've got The Girl I Want Is So Handsome, the manga collection. It is a, uh, a Yuri rom-com. Um, I mean, rom-com's a rom-com. I'll read any rom-com. But yeah, um, don't entirely remember reading, ordering this. This must have been an order in late December. Must have. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to read this. The art's very, very good. And you know, you know, I like me some rom, some wholesome rom-com. So yeah. Next up, we have a not so, so wholesome um, uh, pickup. That is the omnibus of all you need is kill. <laughs> and now, um, fun fact about this, 
the Tom Cruise movie Edge of Tomorrow, uh, the one where he's in a like a mini mech and he fights weird tentacle monsters, that is based off of this manga. And this is also, the art is also done by the uh, same artist as uh, Death Note. So that's pretty cool too. And um, I really like this cover. It's got like a, a smooth matte finish. And it's just very nice to hold. Um, I ordered this off eBay uh, for retail basically. It was that or, you know, 50 bucks for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to jumping into this, seeing how, uh, seeing how close it is to the movie or how... Oh, how wrong the movie is based off this. But yeah, all you need is kill. Um, it's got the volume one cover and then the volume two cover on the back. This is technically two volumes. It's an omnibus. But yeah, looking forward to getting into this one. Next up, we've got, this was also technically uh, not a pre-order, but I got it a couple days after it came out. Uh, Record of Ragnarok volume one. Um, I'm excited to get into this one. Uh, I know the anime on Netflix is kind of bad. <laughs> They, uh, they didn't do a very uh, good job with the fight scenes. I only watched a couple episodes, and then I was like, eh, no thank you. But uh, I know the manga is much better, so it's got volume one. Um, excited to jump into it. I have not jumped into the first chapter yet, but the art looks very good. Uh, very, very good. And uh, can't go wrong with the series. It's basically one giant tournament arc, so yeah. And next up, we have Terraformers Volume 11. Um, I know I said I wouldn't get any more Terraformers until I had read what I what I have. I had Volume 1 through 10 behind me. But um, when I was ordering my textbooks for uh, school, the place I ordered through, I had enough like in-store credit for a free book, and they had this, and it was new, so I, I ordered it. It was free, just to pay shipping. Uh, so yeah, Volume 11, and now I technically have the first half because there's 22 volumes because 11 times 2 is 22 but yeah terraformers volume 11 looks that guy looks a little bit like iron man just the color scheme wise but yeah terraformers volume 11 so continuing with the manga i've got the cool stuff that i got the very very cool stuff i'm very excited for so getting right into this stack we have volume one of mobile suit gundam the origin in a very, very nice hardcover. This is a very heavy book. Um, I started reading this one, I'm about halfway through. So far, I'm really, really enjoying it. Really glad I picked it up. And uh, as you can tell, the guy on the cover is the same as a little figure. He's out of focus, but... Um, oh, yeah. This little guy, he can, if he's ever gonna focus, is the same as uh, this dude on the cover. Um, yeah, this, uh, this hardcover is very well done. The paper is very, very nice. I'm just gonna put you right back there. I'll fix you later. Paper is very, very nice. It's that uh, sort of glossy, similar to the kind of, so it's exactly the same as the kind of paper they use in the uh, Full Metal Alchemist hardcovers. Um, and it's got color sections that are very, very nicely done. Um, let's see if we can pull one up. Um, it's not too spoilery, is it? No. Spoilery for like a book came out in the 70s. But yeah, that uh, that's yeah, that's on frame. The color sections are very, very nice. Very, very nicely done. Um, I will definitely be getting volume two, uh, but these books are uh, 30 bucks a pop. So uh, this will be a, a slow collect like Full Metal Alchemist was until I got caught up. Um, yeah, very, very excited to finish this. I'm about halfway through and I'm really, really liking it. Mobile Suit Gundam, The Origin, Volume 1. And the spine is just sitting on the shelf. Oh, that's so good looking. So good looking. So, this next thing you may have seen before. This is from the last haul, my uh, first edition uh, Ghost in the Shell sort of omnibus thingy-majig. Uh, Dark Horse. Um, yeah. So, remember this? Well... Part of a, a later Christmas gift that I got was a gift card, and I got the Ghost in the Shell Deluxe uh, hardcover box set. This is very heavy, sorry. So that's the front of the box. The back is exactly the same. This is what the side of it says. Ghost in the Shell Deluxe Edition Complete box set. Yeah. 
So let's pull out the books. Oh. It also comes with this very, very nice uh, little print of all the different characters. I guess not technically all the different characters, two characters, just in you know different settings and stuff. Very, very nice, very, very cool. I might get a frame for this, I might not. I don't need to frame up every piece of art to get, but very, very nice, nonetheless. So, let's get into the actual books that come in this. So, we have the first one, which is the same cover, except uh, the, the colors are a little bit sharper, pop a little bit more. The back cover is very, very cool. Reminds me sort of a, uh, a uh, what's the word? Like a, a maintenance sheet, like certain certain things will have a uh, a sheet that mechanics have to sign, like this is when it was last maintained. But yeah, that just reminds me of this. Um, but yeah, um, the paper quality, I will say I was a little bit disappointed on. The paper quality is not the greatest, but the print quality is very nice, at least. The, the paper quality, it's a little... Um, uh, feels a little a, a teeny bit cheap but nonetheless um still looks very very good and uh you'll notice it's printed in the manga format <laughs> it's not printed like an american comic like the other one i have is but um i've looked through and this first volume is basically the same as the uh the first edition that i have going on to the uh, second volume, which is the shortest of the bunch. Oh, that one's got a little cover damage. I'll have to look into that. Um, shortest volume, 1.5. That's the uh, cover. That's not, there's nothing on the back this time. Um, I know literally nothing about Ghost in the Shell, so I couldn't... Oh, that's a mechanical bee. How fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, I know next to nothing about Ghost in the Shell, but it's a series that I've been very, very interested in. I know it had that bad movie with ScarJo a few years ago. Um, but yeah, 1.5. And then the third cover for volume two. Nothing on the back, same as the other one. But, um, oh, that's an interesting page to open up to. Okay, I can't show that. <laughs> But anyways, um, yeah, I'm excited to get into Ghost in the Shell. Um, and that actually is everything for the manga haul, but I do have one other short section for you guys. So let me get that set up and I'll be right back. So to wrap up this video, I thought I'd go over the anime I got this month for you guys. Now, funnily enough, on Amazon, most of these, for some reason, I don't know why, they were all like 50% off. Um, which is awesome because these like regular price are like 50 60 bucks <laughs> so um, Yeah, but I'll start with the one that I did not get from Amazon and that is the Ghost in the Shell Blu-ray 25th edition I got this from Barnes & Noble same place. I got Nichijou got them on the same day um, This was on sale there as well, but um I know this is a very very good well-regarded movie. So I picked it up haven't watched it yet. Very, very excited to have this. Um, excited to watch it too. I know it's very good. It's come very, very highly re uh, regarded and recommended. So yeah. Next up, we have a series that uh, one of my coworkers recommended to me and uh, it's called The Big O. It is a, uh, to use his words, it's anime Batman, but with steampunk mechs. And so far from, from what I watched, he's not wrong. Um, this is, um, the art style looks a lot like the, uh, the animated Batman series from like the eight, 80s or 90s. Sorry, you can hear my dog barking in the background. Um, this is the complete collection, seasons one and two. Um, the main character is voiced by uh, Steve Bloom, the voice of Spike Spiegel. So that's part of the reason I got it. He's probably my favorite voice actor. Um... Or at least one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, Big O. Uh, I'm about five episodes in. It's very good. I've heard season two is a little bit different from season one, just based on who was financing it. But um, yeah, I'm excited to uh, complete or finish watching this. So far, it's really good. 
And uh, if you like mechs, I recommend it. It's uh, it's an older older series, 1990s. Most of the anime I have on Blu-ray is old, older at least. Except maybe One Punch Man. It's probably the newest one. Actually, no. This is gonna be the newest one. We've got the complete series of Space Dandy. Um, if you've been around long enough on my Instagram, uh, you would have known that Space Dandy is one of my favorite anime series of all time. Um, it's, it's, it's hard to describe. It's very, it's very hard to describe. But, um, best way I can think of it is, um, it's got, like, the campiness of, like, the original Star Trek series. But, um, it's mixed with, um... See, even, I can't even find the words to describe this. Just check it out. This series is absolutely wild. It's very funny. There's some surprisingly, like, wholesome, like, heartfelt moments in the series as well. It's just very funny. Very, very good. Um, animated by the same studio, Studio Bones, I believe, who, it's a, it's an original. So you won't find, well, you will find manga out there, but it's very expensive. Uh, it's, it's an anime original. Very, very funny. Studio Bones. Very, very well animated, too. Um, it's, uh, you know, episodic, but yeah, very, very good. Highly, highly recommend Space Dandy. And last on the list, this is the one I got most recently, we've got the full anime for Samurai Champloo. Um, another Steve, Steve Bloom series, he's in there too. Same, uh, studio that did Cowboy Bebop, Studio Sunrise. So, I am, I know this is good. I've, I've heard it's good. That's why I got it. <laughs> um, excited to look, check it out. Uh, the cover is very, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, it doesn't come with very many, like, special features, like Cowboy Bebop or, um, Space Dandy did, but that's not a big deal. But, uh, yeah. Samurai Champloo. Full anime. So that wraps up the January haul. Um, February will probably be a little, uh, bit light on manga, but that is because of the following video that's gonna come out later about the thing that I bought for myself that cost, uh, I, I went a little, uh, extra on the, on the spending. But, um, yeah, that's for the, the other video that'll come out. I want to get, I want to get that out sometime mid-February, at least before the haul. But yeah, um, that's my little preview for the next video. But, um, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to, uh, follow me on Instagram, at Chris, same as it is here. Uh, we're getting close to 450 followers on there. That'd, that'd be a good milestone to hit. That'd be a good milestone to hit. Keep the growth going, you know? Keep the, the audience expanding. But, um, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I read all the comments, try to respond to all of them. But, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.